Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. If you are new around here, I'm Zara, I'm 25 and my channel is all things motherhood, lifestyle, home, vlogs, all bits and pieces like that. Today's video I am going to be showing you around all the latest little bits and pieces we've done. There is loads of like house and keeping up with the vlogs, keeping up with the vlogs, who do I think I'm? That's like keeping up with the Kardashians. No way, Jose. Definitely not that glam. Um, yeah, so there's loads of vlogs and stuff on my channel of all of our home stuff prior to this point. So if you haven't already, make sure that you go catch up with all of them. And today I'm going to be showing you our recent Ikea haul of little bits and pieces ready to decorate for the lounge. And four little bits and pieces we have done and got sorted around the house I'm excited to share it with you all so to start off with I just thought best off go straight in with the Ikea stuff love Ikea love 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 we don't really have one local so we ordered some bits online basically grab a cup of tea because it's like catch up time next week I'm filming this what is today today is Thursday this may go out tonight depends how organized I am next week we are decorating all the lounge and then hopefully next Saturday after so many delays we have literally had the sofas and bits ordered longer than it took to move hats let that sink in for a minute new sofa should be arriving next saturday so then the next video i should bring is the updated living room which i'm so excited about so overdue and i swear first world problems but if the sofa gets delayed again i almost won't cry almost won't cry i just really want it here i'm like a kid before christmas so without further ado let's go straight into our ikea haul right so you're gonna have to like envision some creativity here and kind of like feel the vibe I'm feeling. I want the living room to feel warm, quite neutral, some greenery, just like cozy and fresh. That's how I envision it, but expectations versus reality always happens. So in Ikea, I spent £73 online. First thing says, I got this. You're most probably like, what the hell is this? Because until it's got something in it, you've got to use your imagination. So this is one of those um, macadamia, is it? Macadamia. Oh my goodness, this has all got muddled up. Right. You can make these on your own, but I'm just not that crafty. I'm just not that crafty. So yeah, this is like a macadamia, 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 um, plant hanging. They all say handmade on them. They are basically just like interwoven thick like string i'd say and i actually got two of these because i want some hanging plants up in the lounge bringing in the different textures and vibes look at me thinking i'm all things like the interior version i got one i don't even know any interior designers hence why i came up with fashion and we've just put it in there put it in that pile and mixed it around but that is the vibe i'm after so i got two of these and one of them i've actually got a plant in so i can show you like what i'm kind of doing with it but before then i'm going to quickly show you this so on ikea these are called the cafe cafe bonner cafe bonner and these ones are called the botanisk botanisk so this was the cafe bonner it's a nine centimeter one and it's basically just like a woven -y, looks like light wood plant pot it says bamboo so bamboo wood same same difference so it's another textured kind of pump pump that planet part these are three pound fifty and i got two of them these to go within the hanger like so ready to put it in work with me here we have this like so see it's coming together like i said you need to use your imagination for what i'm envisioning here so I bought two of them, which made it seven pounds. And then to go inside them, I actually got two different ones, but I now I'm regretting my life choices and wish I got two of the same. I got this one. I really like this plant, but I was a little bit worried with getting Ikea plants online to see if they were gonna be like really thin and scraggly and not look like the pictures online. We've all been there where it's like, this is not what I'd signed up for. So I'm definitely gonna try and re-get the one that I definitely do like and use this as like a little potted plant 
all round the lounge. All round the lounge. Sounds like I'm saying all round. This one, let's have a look how much this one was. This one was four pounds. Four pounds is a bargain. It's a really pretty, cute, textured one. And that is called the Fajaka, Fajika, F E J K A, Fajika. <laughs> The nine centimeter outdoor Whitley Giant. So this one you can put in here, but I think the hanging plants do look a bit better in these because if not, it brings it all in. But let's take it out, let's have a play so you can have a look at it. So a hanging plant like so. I don't actually like that one in there. I want a hanging plant out of the hanging one but that will have to do until we next manage to get to Ikea. And then this is the other one, and I do like the look of this one. This is what I was envisioning. Look at that beauty. Like, it looks good. Well, I like the look of it. It's like boho, Scandinavian, like all the chilled, bringing outdoor in kind of vibes. We're going for it. So this one is the Fenshotahaika <laughs> Eucalyptus one from seven pounds down to five. Absolute steal, absolute bargain. Kind of didn't want to share it with anyone else because I want to get another one because I think it looks lovely. Obviously not when I'm holding it like that. Like that's really not great advertisement. But yeah, I really like that one. Then next up we have this mirror. You can see, look, I've balanced the camera on a step ladder. This is when you know we're in the mix of DIY. So we've got this rattan mirror. I'm liking the idea of bringing like wood textures into the lounge, all things like that. So I thought this mirror would be brilliant for it. This is called the Miss Vedden, Miss Verdon one, Miss Verdon. But it's a really nice material and it's going to match in with some other bits that we've done. Again, bringing that wood theme, the plant theme, the fresh neutral colours. I'm really actually excited. This mirror is 50 centimetres and it was only £19, which I think is a still high. Look, all the angles. Oh, hi, all the angles. So, yeah. This mirror is an absolute steal and I think I'm going to put it in the lounge but I originally bought it for the hallway. So if I do put it in the lounge I'm going to have to get another mirror of some sort for the hallway. For what I want to do for the hallway. But stay tuned because that is coming up next. And last but definitely not least I then got, you actually can't see it but I can show you the box. Oh my god this is so much heavier than it looks. I got those mirrors, so I basically got, you know, the four pack or three pack of mirrors. Let me check how many come in a pack, so I'm not misinforming you. So we got the lots, they're called, <laughs> we got lots of the lots mirror, which, yeah, is a four pack. These are seven pounds a piece, and we got four lots of them. So four times four is 16. We've got 16, and that costs 28 pounds. They are the square mirrors. I'm going to hopefully put up a picture here to show you what I'm thinking about. Basically, with these, I want to create a mirror made up of lots of mirrors for the lounge wall. That's what I'm envisioning. Whether it actually comes out half decent or not is gonna be another thing, but it looked like a cheap DIY hack. Uh, some examples are coming up here of what I want, basically. But whether it actually comes out looking decent or not, I don't know, but that's another project for another day. I might share my journey of that project and whether it goes right or not on here. We shall see. So that is everything I got in our Ikea haul. So it's loads of little different things, adding textures, adding neutral colors, all bits of light, bits of greenery. This is the vibe we are bringing home. Right, so let's now just go straight in to what we have been up to around the house. Let's just scoot that out the way and pretend the whole stuff isn't there. So this is what we've actually been up to recently. Don't get me wrong, I definitely could have moved the pram and moved the torch and made it look a lot more presentable to reveal it to you all. But this is how we've changed our IKEA unit. I'm gonna quickly put up a photo here of what it looked like before. And now basically what we have done is we've got these wicker baskets. These were actually from Ikea, but I bought them secondhand because I couldn't find eight anywhere on Ikea. I think they're about 12, 10 to 12 pounds. 
easy on Ikea. They're the Branas boxes, the wicker ones. They're really nice and sturdy for the kids. And I also like it because it hides it, but it also adds some texture and a nice vibe to the room. We painted the Ikea unit here. Obviously it's already got a few marks on and dust because of the kids. So we painted all in it. We painted that with a friend cheek lazy range paint. Let me just go grab it so I can show you it. So this is the paint I use for the Ikea unit. This is the French Eek Furniture Paint, the Lazy Range. I'm definitely more of a Lazy Range kind of gal. I haven't got time to prime. Literally took about two hours to paint the whole thing. We did about three coats. It was so quick and easy to drive. Drive? Dry. Really rate the Lazy Range. So we got it in stone rosy, so you can see it's all on the tin. It's like a light beigey tone, but it was enough to be light and keep it quite bright because it was grey before but we didn't want white because of the kids it's just not practical and then I'm going to show you the feet that we then put on it to make it just up off the floor to make it a little bit different give it that ba ba boom we then put it on feet so we've got four feet and basically we got these for a few pounds off of Amazon or eBay and then we literally are just varnished them i want to say varnish them did about two three coats in a light varnish and then stuck them on it just makes it feel like a slightly new piece of furniture and it should go in with the other bits that i bought you can see like all the colors and tones together the wicker mirror kind of goes with the like rattan with the wooden tones of the bamboo and the hanging plant like that's the vibe that is the vibe and in the lounge, I took all the shelves down. So we just need to fill in all the cracks and get ready to paint. I think we're gonna go for this one. It doesn't look too much different on the camera, but it is just a slightly warmer tone to add a bit of warmth to the room. Here, that is the color compared to all the hundreds and thousands of testers. That's the color. And again, over on this wall that is the color i think we're going for so just a slightly warmer tone it should go nicely with everything else and the sofa and just make it feel cozy let's just leave that mess in there let's just leave that and pretend that doesn't exist right next up is i'm just quieter because tommy's upstairs asleep next up is our hallway for those of you that know this has been a bug bear of mine the shoe storage was getting on my nerves. I still don't really know what I'm doing with the fuse box, but this is the update. I moan about shoe storage, but then I don't put my shoes in the shoe storage. So this is what we've got in the end. As you can see, we've still got the fuse box, but that looks so much tidier than it did. I've got my coat on there. Let's just shut that and pretend it doesn't exist. So this is what it looks like at the moment. We have actually had to take the feet off of this shoe storage because the skirting board's really high. So it was just like hovering by that much. So it looks better just like floating. And then we can put like guest shoes underneath. We've got a compartment for each. That's like mine. That's like Tom's and the girls. And then that handy little shelf. And then what I'm thinking is put in a rack of some sort. We've just got to be really careful with a fuse box and the wires up there. And then the coats should kind of cover it. And then like a mirror on there. If you've got any other ideas, I'm definitely up for suggestions, but that is looking so much better than it did. Let me see if I can put a photo up or anything here of what it did look like, but it was a bit dire. Now we are upstairs. Ah, oh, there you go, in middle floor bathroom. Tommy's literally the other wall, so I'm being nice and quiet. And in here, I did share on my Instagram, we've painted the bathroom cupboard and the radiator. I'm gonna quickly show you them now and show you the befores. And I'm also gonna show you the paint we used for it. This is the bathroom cabinet that we have then painted. We've kept the original handles because I quite liked them and obviously it goes nicely with the mirror. Still need to paint inside it, but it looks far better than what it did. Here is a photo of what it did look like. I just think it ties it all together. I would like to freshen up the walls in a nice lighter color. i just keep it nice and smart, and I don't like that plant, but I'm gonna change that at a later date. And then here is the radiator we also painted. I actually looked and priced into it, 
and it would have cost about £130 for a new towel warmer radiator just in black rather than white which I think just to change a colour was extortionate. So we bought some radiator paint and did it instead. This is the paint we use, it's a multi-surface durable paint. It says it's used for cabinets, furniture, tiles, floors and radiators, self-priming, good home and liberty matte. Literally got so much left of it and I'm gonna do the upstairs ensuite when we one day get some more time. The um, radiator with it, we can also use it on cabinets. It worked really well on the wood but also looks really good on the radiator well, so definitely recommend that one. And then last but not least, I got this absolute bargain off of Facebook Marketplace. I managed to pick this dressing table up on Facebook Marketplace. Look, Tom's Ugg slippers, the iPad. It's just real life, isn't it? So yeah, I managed to get this dressing table off of Facebook Marketplace. It has got a few little stains here. However, we can definitely recover that. It's got the odd mark or two but once we decorate the bedroom i'm going to sand it down and repaint it all but literally how lush is that for 10 pounds that whole dressing table for 10 pounds like, oh my days look it's a little mark up here but with a little bit of time and love that will come up a treat so that is all of the updates in what we have been doing and getting up to around the house. I'm really excited to show you the next update, which will hopefully be the living room looking in a lot better state. So exciting. I love you all and I hope to catch up with you all soon. Bye.